Hi, I'm Kate Larson and I talk about rocks for a living. Specifically, I'm a geologist working in public education and science communication to teach people about geology in a way that won't make them want to bash their head in with a rock. Uh, I haven't had anyone do that yet, so I think we're on the right track. It's going very well. Uh, after graduating with my bachelor's in geology in 2020, I downloaded TikTok like a lot of people did during the pandemic to kind of like pass the time. And I was doing that to, you know, pass the time while I was looking for a job and applying to grad school. And I just started making these like funny geology videos. <laughs> Right off the bat, people responded really, really well to them, like to the videos I was making. So I just started doing more and I incorporated more education into it because that's my real, that's my real passion is to, is to educate and to teach and what better thing to teach than like the thing that I'm most absolutely passionate about. From there, I started a weekly live stream on TikTok where I would write out these geology lessons. I would like, you know, make up a lesson from scratch and I would teach it live. And I would be doing it like I was presenting for like a college class. Like I would have like a little like professor outfit on. I dress kind of professionally and I'm teaching, but I'm like I'm, I'm incorporating my own personality and I'm bringing in some humor. And it is like a little bit like adult. We're here, felt it. <laughs> this is gonna look like booze. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I didn't consider this. <laughs> I have these really weird analogies, but it gets the point across. And you're overriding plates like, whoa, 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 whoa. I cannot catch up. There is not enough butter to grease this pan. People are really entertained by it and they stick around. And I have people watching that don't even know anything about geology, but they're coming to learn and they didn't even know they had an interest in this until I started talking about it. I think the biggest difference though, between you know what I'm doing and what a professor does is that I'm drinking a beer while doing this. <laughs> My show is called Rocks and Hops, uh, and I'm very, very proud of that pun. <laughs> because we all know geologists love beer. It's like a natural law of of the universe, you know? And it's it's fun that I get to put that in there because it's a little it's a little gimmick and it makes things very casual and people feel comfortable, but they're also, you know, obviously they're also learning. It means a lot to me, and this is a very good beer. I really like this. I was able to get out of the house a lot to cope with feeling cooped up during lockdown and I would go on these long road trips to the middle of nowhere in upstate New York and Vermont and I would just like take out my camera and just start filming these educational videos like while I'm just out in the field and I would see these cool geologic features and I would just go nuts like explaining everything that I knew about it. So. Let's go head up to, uh, to Beacon and take a look at these rocks a little bit further north on the Hudson River. It makes me so happy to be able to do that and like to be, to be in the field and to be talking about geology. Like, I don't even care that half the time it's just me with my phone on a tripod, just like in a public place, just talking about geology to nobody at all. And it's been flowing for the last oh, 15,000 years. It's a pretty cool river. There's a few, it looks a lot nicer. Oh my God, there's a swan coming at me right now. So by doing this and making all this content for TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, like I really made a name for myself. I think the absolute coolest thing that came out of it was getting invited to like an exclusive preview of the, uh, the new Hall of Gems and Minerals at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. That was absolutely incredible. That was like a dream come true when I got that email. So like thanks to, you know, like the popularity that I got online, I was able to kind of branch out of social media and kind of like grab the attention of professionals in the field of geology and in education. Earlier this year, I got to be a guest lecturer um, at a college geology class. Like I was on the Zoom meeting um, and I taught my own lesson that I, that I had written just for that class and the students loved it and the professor loved it and hopefully I get to do more, more of that in the future. On top of that, I'm doing meetings with rock and mineral clubs and scouts troops. Kids, kids really love geology. Like kids just love picking up a rock and asking me what it is. And I love telling them exactly what it is. I'm, you know, starting to do in-person field trips, which are these like geology tours where I just take this group around and talk about the geologic history of the area and teach them more about geology than maybe they might have known. You know, this is for a general audience or for professionals who just haven't been to the region yet. 
I'm um, doing my first one in just about a week. I'll be like leading a group around Central Park and just gushing about rocks the entire time. I cannot wait. Looking back to think that all of this started because I wanted to keep the information that I learned in college fresh in my head while I take some time before going to grad school. Um, and then looking at it now and seeing how it's evolved into me furthering my career in, in education and, and also furthering the public's image of what geology is. I've known for almost 10 years now that I want to be a professor uh, because I want to teach and connect and research. I want to contribute to our collective understanding uh, of, how the, of how our world works. And when the timing is right, I'm going to grad school and I'll be hopefully continuing to do science communication uh, to strengthen my teaching skills. I want to be a great professor, just like the ones who guided me and inspired me to be where I am today. There will always be new things to learn and existing ideas to improve on and accomplishments that we make that we can share with one another. And I think that's the true purpose of science is, is education because what are we learning for if not to teach others what we discover? That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to GSL for inviting me to make this video to share what it is I do. Happy Earth Science Week and as always, rock on.